Hi, this is Jason from Clipfolio. Today I'm going to walk you through using the if function to align data. The if function is a logical function that will return one value if a condition is true and another if it's false. If you want to follow along during this tutorial, you can find the data source that we're using in your trial account and it's called Sales Booked. Now let's get started. Here's what we want to build. It shows revenue by quarter but separated out between Canada and the United States. So we're going to start by adding a clip, choosing Build Custom Clip, and we're going to select the bar line chart. Next we're going to use existing source from our library and choose Example Sales Booked. Now the first thing we're going to change is our x-axis and we're going to select column C quarter. And since we want to show the quarters grouped together and not the individual lines of data, we're going to select group repeating labels. Now it looks good except for the word quarter, which we'll remove by adding a filter, selecting quarter, clicking exclude, and then clicking filter. And now you can see our x-axis just shows the four quarters that we're looking for. Next, we're going to adjust our series. We'll start by looking at revenue for Canada. So I'm going to change the series label to read Canada. Then I'm going to go over to data, and we're going to use the if function. Now once you start typing it in, you'll notice a little tooltip will come up to give you an idea of what exactly that function does. In this case, we're going to use it to separate the revenue from Canada versus the revenue from the United States. So we're going to start with the condition, and in this case, we're looking at if column E equals Canada, we want to use that data. So column E equals Canada in quotations, and we're going to add a comma, and we're going to choose the column that we want to use if this condition is true. And in this case, it is column S, revenue. Then we're going to add another comma, and we're going to choose what to return if the condition is false. In this case, we want to return blank so that no revenue is added to the series if the country does not equal Canada. Now we're going to go ahead and select our entire formula by pressing Control or Command A, and then Control or Command C to copy. We're going to create a new series, and we're going to change the label to United States for this one. Then we're going to go over to the Data tab and paste our formula into the formula bar. And then we'll just adjust the formula so that within the quotation marks it says US. And as you see, the United States revenue data is now added to our chart. And we can switch back and forth by clicking on the series labels. If you click twice, you will get them both showing up at the same time. Finally, we're going to change the name of our chart to read revenue by quarter. And I'm going to stretch this out a little further give it a little more room, and then we're done. We're going to save the clip. We're going to click Finished. And there's our clip, Revenue by Quarter. And it looks identical to the clip that I showed you at the beginning of the video. And that concludes my demo on how to use the IF function to align data. You can find more videos like this, as well as our knowledge base and community forums at support.clipfolio.com.